give my wife four rules. If you want to make the marriage to work or you must keep these four rules. Number one, if I say anything outside, this is right. When we get inside the room, you can slap me and tell me what mm. rubbish, what nonsense. I'm not ashamed to go out and say, knowing what I know, I'm not doing it again. Number two, if anybody told you to do anything and you didn't want to do it, just tell them my husband said I shouldn't do it. I was like, yes, I said I shouldn't do it. Your husband must protect their wife. And I felt that that was the only way I could use to protect my wife. I can come back and we'll look at it and say, this time, you have to go and do it all. I didn't convince you. The third thing is, we can never argue in front of our children. The fourth thing that I told them my wife is that don't create a room for any of these children to hide bad mom, good dad. If I take a position, that remains the position. So my children growing up knew that there was no hiding place. If daddy said a thing, don't mind, don't mind those people there back. I'll just start with the, how he called it rules and how that may come across as being forceful. Hmm. But, you know, we talk about boundaries here all the time. So what if he had said, I put my own boundaries, would we find it easier to accept, you know? So I have always said I prefer to work with people who have set boundaries than I know when I'm taking, you know, when I'm breaking them or when I'm doing something wrong. And for me, also tells me the sort of person you are. So from the get-go, I know if I want to deal with you or not. I don't find, I, I, so I understand these rules. I don't think they are unpalatable in any way. Um, so, you know, I, I don't disagree with it, is what I'm saying. Now, the other, the only thing that maybe stands out for me that maybe it's a bit uncomfortable for me is whatever he's doing outside, don't correct me or, you know, don't do anything okay. until we get to the house. I may not correct you, but I will keep quiet. I will not be a party to you making a, a fool of yourself outside. I, can't, I cannot, I'm sorry. I may not, I will not join the other person to make you further upset, but I will keep quiet. And I hope that when you see that I'm keeping quiet, it will sort of tell you that, okay, maybe I'm doing something a bit wrong. Because remember, I'm your teammate. I want you always to show up in the best light. Do you understand? And I hope that you do the same for me. Now, having said that, you know, there are situations where, you know, you're with friends and you're bantering, you know, and you're, you, the way we say yabbies, you know, you yabby each other. There's something I just always notice my husband does. He would never say anything, not even in jest, that would make me look bad. And I appreciated it because I've been in situations where you're with friends, they're, they're, it's yabbies, but in a way that makes you feel bad. But he never does that. So I learned that. So maybe in that way, I can understand that in whatever situations, you're my guy. I always have your back. But if you're doing such a horrible thing, I would keep quiet. You would know that I'm not in support, but... Uh, yeah.